and the Flower Cup. Said to be one of the best cups in Mario Kart DS, featuring the most favourite tracks in this game, all held under the banner of the iconic Flower Power Up from Super Mario Bros. Let's take a look at this cup and properly rank these tracks. Quick, what's the first thing you think of when flowers? Desert Hills, cause you gotta check that off. The track is bland. It's a desert track. It's like every desert track you remember. What do you mean you don't? This track is yet another one in the top. Boo, two out of 10. Next up, DSDS. Pardon? Delfino Square is pretty good. However, looking at the track critically, it's a bit bland because of the repetitive alleyway textures. Also, I'm not sure if the track's good because the narrow halls are bad for said reason, but it compensates with the wide starting straight. My main issue with the track is a lack of shortcuts. There's like three, and this one barely counts until Mario Kart Wii. There's also a general lack of off-road. It's only at like the end of the track, and like, how do you end up here in a normal race? Wait, lack of off-road? While the Ouija pinball sort of sucks. What it does well? Theming. And that music is pretty good. However, Playout is so bad. Oh, but it's Pinball Machine. Yeah, cool, still makes it an unworthy race. And there's no shortcuts or off-roads to use mushrooms on. It's like the longest track in the game. NOT A GOOD THING! It's one of the few tracks to use a cannon. No, this section's neat. And some of the pinballs are so badly linked up to the progression of the race. And it looks ugly as hell. WAKE UP PEOPLE! People who have never played Mario Kart DS are full of ball- Anyway, I should shut up now. Allow people to cancel me over more worthwhile issues. Both while Luigi Pinball and Delfino Square get 6 out of 10. Here is my presentation on why Shroom Ridge isn't that bad. When it comes to tracks in Mario Kart, we have such fan favourites, such as Waluigi Pinball and Delfino Square. However, there are other tracks in this game that are more unliked, such as Figure 8 Circuit and the Retro tracks in this game. However, with that second group, there's one track that stands out. DS Shroom Ridge. People often don't like this track for its lazy layout and its lack of theming. As well as, I don't like how it only has one shortcut, indicated by this red arrow. The thing that this track does really well is be a car track that is not in a city. It's also not egregiously bad, like the mentioned figure eight circuit and retro tracks in this game. It's nothing amazing, but it's fine. And that's why I think Shroom Ridge is a highly underrated track in the Mario Kart DS review scene. Because it simply doesn't stand out, but it's not bad. 6 out of 10. The Flower Cup in DS I always thought was one of the best cups in the entire series. With two fan favourites, one on right track and sand, but looking critically, none of these tracks are overly amazing. They all have good aspects and bad elements, mainly suffering from gameplay issues. Also, people have been saying something about 4-3 and Shroom Ridge and I just don't get it. 